Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to model a separately excited DC generator and do the simulation using MATLAB Simlink. Now we will start with the modeling of separately excited DC generator using MATLAB Simlink. Here this is the circuit diagram of separately excited DC generator. It has two circuit. One is the field circuit. The other one is the armature circuit. Here we are connecting a, a VF field voltage uh, to produce the flux phi uh, which cuts the armature and induce an EMF EGR EA. So this causes a current IA and IL. It flows to the load. These are the governing equation of our modeling. The first one is the field voltage equation. The second one is generated induced EMF voltage. The third one is the torque equation. Vf equal to IF RF plus LF DIF by DT. EG equal to VA plus IA RA plus LDIA by DT. Torque equal to K phi IA. The IA value is negative value. Since it's a generator action, we have to consider the IA is opposite just like opposite just opposite to our motor as we know a generator means we have to give the mechanical power as an input the electrical power as an output uh, mechanical power means we can write in terms of torque multiplied by omega so torque is the torque that needs to run this generator and omega is the speed in which we are running this generator so VA is the armature voltage, IA is the armature current. And also we assume the flux produced by the machine, it is assumed to be a, is, is proportional to IF. And we assume here this IF is a constant one. Uh, so the EMF generated by the generator equal to K phi omega. We assume this K phi is a constant. Omega is the only parameter which changes the EG. And we assume there is no armature reaction. So we are not considering the armature reaction when we generate, when we load our generator. We assume that the flux is always constant uh, and there is no distortion in the flux that is produced by the field winding due to armature reaction. And we come to the block diagram of modeling of our separately excited DC generator. So always we have to connect, we have to couple a motor with our generator. Okay, the first part is the motor, the second part is our generator. First we will take the first equation EG. EG equal to K phi times omega. This K phi is a constant that to be multiplied with this omega. Omega is the speed in which we are running our generator. Uh, so the speed of your motor and generator both are at same speed. Uh, so the output of the motor, the motor runs our generator. Uh, so the output of the motor is omega, the speed multiplied by K phi it is equal to EG. EG equal to VA plus IA RA plus LDIA by DT. This is equation number two. We can rewrite the equation number two according to the mathematical equation. We have to find IA. So IA is the output of this equation. So we are dividing one by LA and integrating this one by S. And this is the summation of this point. So we are summing EG minus IA RA minus VA. Uh, so the output of the equation is what IA. So this part is IA, IA is multiplied by RL. This is load resistance. We get VA. VA. And we multiply this IA with K phi. We will get the torque. Here, what we are getting is IA is negative. Torque is also negative. Finally, we get the output. That is output of our generator. P out equal to power electrical VA multiplied by IA. This is a torque output of our gen generator. So this torque generator output should be given as an input to the motor. So what is the torque to be produced by the motor? It is desired by the 
load decided by the load that is a load value that is ia so here this ia depends upon what rl so if rl uh, it decrease then ia automatically increase ia increase means torque also increase that much torque to be produced by this motor why this motor and generator are coupled together uh, so that is the input of our generator so the mechanical power produced by the motor pm equal to omega multiplied by the torque this torque to be decided by our generator here the value is negative value we have to multiply it with the negative so we have can give a positive value for that positive value this motor can produce a mechanical torque that is a, a torque uh, that is to be produced uh, by the motor to run our generator finally we have to think of the the inertia of our generator and our motor here the inertia of the mot generator is not considered is ignored is completely ignored inertia is not considered why here the motor and generator are coupled together uh, so the whatever the energy of the motor and generator is coupled as a that is inertia of motor so we have to add the energy of generator on motor side not on generator side so the total energy of the motor equal to j1 plus j2 omega 2 square omega 2 by omega 1 whole square uh, here this omega 2 and omega 1 we are not uh, using any speed differentiator or any gear box ratio uh, to uh, that is considered omega 2 and omega 1 separately here both the speed of our motor and generator are same value so here the value here total uh, inertia equal to j1 plus j2 now we verify our model using MATLAB Simulink. This is the diagram I made using this MATLAB Simulink. Here you can see the motor. The motor is connected with our generator. This is a generator model. Here the output of the motor that is speed as input as EG is equal to uh, speed multiplied by motor constant K5. From the second equation EG is equal to VA plus IA, RA plus LDI by DT. We model this part. The output of this part is IA. IA is negative. The torque it is produced is equal to negative. Torque equal to IA multiplied by motor constant. It is negative in value. To apply the positive torque, we multiply again by minus 1. This is the output voltage VA. Here it is the armature or resistance IA, RA as we are giving all these things to the summer and the output of this point is ia here this is the load resistance which we connected here the load resistance if i change i can see that what is the torque to be produced by this motor so what is the torque now it's it should be produced here it is equal to 15.83 this motor should produce this much torque to produce this much power now we will change the value of load as a 5 and we can observe the increase in, increase in motor current and the torque the torque to be produced by this motor and also the uh, drop that is a fall in voltage the terminal voltage of our generator now we can vary further 3 ohms so still the torque it needs to be produced by the motor is increasing and IA also increasing and the terminal voltage still falls. With this I conclude that uh, how to model uh, a separately excited DC generator with a separately excited DC motor.